welcome to my channel welcome to the mentorship corner if you are new to my channel welcome welcome my name is Sibia Nomtandazo um so as i said if you are new to my channel you are welcome into the family don't forget to click to click the to click the subscribe button oh my god don't forget to click the subscribe button don't forget to um click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos um so as you guys know we are continuing with our um first year of work series before i continue i just want to say thank you thank you to all my subscribers and a very thank you to my notification gang guys like you you are here you know I, I love you guys a lot i love you guys a lot and thank you thank you so much for your support so on today's video i will be discussing medical aids medical insurance and hospital plans so basically those are the three things that i feel you need to look into to try and plan for your health um of course if you don't want to take any of those three you can always have a savings account where you're gonna name it your medical savings account where if you need to go see a gp or you need to go um if you're hospitalized or anything like that you can be able to access those funds to pay off for your medical needs okay cool so the first thing we're going to discuss we're going to be discussing medical aids so first things first what is a medical aid hmm Okay, so first, a medical aid, it's like a cover, basically. It's a benefit cover that ensures that you get um, proper health care services to make sure that your health care needs are taken care of. So you're looking at things like visiting your nurse, going to your GP, going to your dentist, um, visiting your optometrist, um, getting medication, and basically when you have to be hospitalized into a hospital, Okay. So that's what it actually covers. So how the medical aid works is that you pay a minimum premium every month, which goes towards your medical aid, and then they give you a certain benefit or savings to use for the year. Okay. And then um, another thing is you can actually cover more than one person on your medical aid, just like how you would on with your life insurance and stuff. You can actually put yourself, your kids, if you've got kids, um, your spouse and other family members of your family okay so okay basically how it works is they have okay so by law the medical aid medical aid or medical aid schemes are governed by the medic the medical schemes of south africa medical schemes act of south africa which states that they have to pay the pmbs so basically pmbs mean they have to pay their prescribed minimum benefits for each person who's actually registered um and who actually has membership with their medical aid scheme okay so your medical aid has to pay the pre-prescribed minimum benefits for each and every individual in your family according to the plan that you choose for you and your family okay um so as i said there is a fixed premium that you pay each month for the year um and then some medical aids it increases most of the medical aids actually that premium increases per year so there's different medical aids and they function and they work differently so the main difference is you've got medical aid who work according to benefits and then you've got medical aid who work according to savings so let me just clarify between the two so the one that works according to benefits they will give you a minimum like um, a fixed benefit for the year for like certain parts of your healthcare. So basically they'll give you a benefit for your dentistry, your GP visits, um, visiting a nurse, getting your medication and um, hospitalization. So they'll give you like a minimum benefit for everything. So they'll tell you, you have this amount to go visit your optometrist. You have this amount, you have this amount of GP visits for the year. You have this amount of money to spend on dentistry and, and, and. So that's how the benefits one work. The savings um, medical aid work according to the amount of accumulated savings that you have on your medical aid. So they'll tell you that um, for the year, for example, I'm making an example, guys, you have 20,000 rands um, of medical savings for the entire year so then they will tell you okay fine so if you want to go to your optometrist this is how much savings we're going to take and pay for your optometrist this is how much savings we're going to take for your gp visits this is how much savings we're going to take for your dentistry and so 
forth. So that's like the main difference between the two types of medical aids that we have in South Africa. So as I said, there's the one that works according to your benefits and then there's one that works according to your accumulated um, savings. And the last thing I want to discuss is that if you are planning on taking medical aid, have a look at the plan because they have different plans. Either you're taking the savings on the benefit um, medical aid, they have different plans um, according to the amount, the premium you're going to be paying each month and according to how much they're actually going to be covering for each of your healthcare needs. Okay, so before I move on to medical insurance, I just want to discuss the a few like very important disadvantages of having a medical aid that you should be aware of before you decide to take the medical aid okay the first thing is you pay a monthly premium which is most more or less expensive guys medical aid is expensive um you pay a monthly premium which is normally expensive and unfortunately it increases each year just like, like how your rent fees increase each year so your medical aid premium also increases per year the second disadvantage is that um if you are working or living in a rural area like a very rural area which has like your nearest private hospital about 50 k's away from you or like 100 k's away from you that's going to be hectic because for you to be able to use your medical aid and for you to be able to access um like proper private healthcare services you're gonna to have to travel for like the next like hour to two to three hours to get to your nearest um private hospital or your nearest private like medical center to see a gp and stuff like that so that is a bit of a disadvantage if you're living in a rural area okay and then the last disadvantage is that sometimes unfortunately with some medical aids they will be co-payments so for instance if maybe it's like a certain procedure let's say maybe you have to visit um a let me think let me think let me think let's say you have to visit like a cardiologist um, they will say, okay, fine, we'll pay this amount of money for the consultation and this amount of money for all the procedures that he's going to do, but you're going to have to pay maybe 20% of the, the, the total cost, which means then now there's a bit of a co-payment and some people don't want that. So just those are like the three, I think the top three disadvantages that you have to keep in mind when you're looking into getting a medical aid for yourself and your family okay so that's it about medical aids next up i am going to be discussing um what is medical insurance and how that one works and how it actually differs from your medical aid got it stay tuned guys guys as i said next up i am discussing medical insurance so basically i will discuss how medical aid oh, sorry not medical aid this time around i will be discussing how medical insurance works um how it differs from medical aid and basically what you can look out for if you are you are like looking into taking a medical insurance okay so the first main difference between medical okay fine let's first explain what a medical insurance is so medical insurance it's like also like a medical cover where it pays for your day-to-day -day, um expenses mainly if you're hospitalized if you're buying medication and then they have like a limited amount that they will pay for certain um gp visits and stuff like that depending on the medical insurance plan that you take okay so the main difference between medical insurance and medical aid is that they do not have prescribed minimum benefits they just have their own list of things that they tell you okay fine if you take this plan this is what we cover and this is how much you pay for it um another difference is that medical insurance is not governed by the medical scheme act of south africa it is actually governed by i think the insurance act um because it's not necessarily medical aid okay it, it does not work the same way as the medical aid works so access to like your gp visits and hospitalization all the drama it is a bit different and it is not as you know easy to access compared to your medical aid the one most important thing about um medical insurance is that if you were to be hospitalized they need a letter to confirm that your medical aid the medical insurance is actually going to pay for the hospitalization which is different in the case of a medical aid if you have a medical aid you just give them your medical aid card and they knew they will hospitalize you um for whatever need that you need for your hospital visits and all that drama okay um so yeah the 
basically it works similar to your medical aid it's just that they have their own limited benefits that they would pay um according to the plan that you take for your medical um insurance the good thing about it is that it's actually cheaper than medical aid so if you are not someone who gets sick most often someone who doesn't need like chronic medication and all drama medical insurance is actually a better option for you medical aid is for people who actually get sick more often so your older people your younger kids because they have to do their hospital the doctor's visits more often and all that drama then um your medical aid is what that's when the medical aid is needed but um, medical insurance it basically just covers your day-to-day -day needs um, according to what you will need on a daily so with medical insurance you still have a premium it still increases each month but as i said it is way cheaper than getting a medical aid and they do cover their own minimum um benefits according to the plan that you choose okay um so that's that's basically about it with about medical insurance it's not that complicated it's basically insurance for your health yeah, well, just like how you have a car insurance and a home insurance type of thing okay so next up i will be discussing wait for it i'll be discussing hospital plans how they work and how um basically the process works with with regards to hospital plans okay guys now i am discussing how hospital plans work so first of all what is a hospital plan i think it gives it away guys it has hospital and plan which means it's a plan that would help if you were to be hospitalized basically that's that's like a basic summary of a hospital plan so a hospital plan it's basically gonna pay for your hospital needs so you're, if you are hospitalized that's when your hospital plan is going to kick in and come and pay for your medical needs when you are in hospitals some hospital plans pay you cash um per day that you spend in hospital some plans will just cover all your hospital um bills so basically we'll just cover the bill for the duration that you spent in the hospital okay so as i said it basically covers your hospital needs so if for instance you're involved in a car accident and you need to be hospitalized for a week that's when your hospital plan is actually going to come through and pay off your bill for when you are in hospital and your medication for when you are in hospital um and that's about it so hospital plans i feel they would work most suitably for very healthy individuals who don't need to say chronic medication however they do pay for your chronic medication so it says that according to the laws in south africa your hospital plan must cover at least minimum of 26 chronic conditions that um people get in south africa so that you'll be able to use the plan to get your chronic medication so that one works such that it pays for your hospitalization fees um, and expenses and then it also pays for your chronic medication um, should you should your condition be under the 26 chronic conditions that are um, listed in the um, in the laws okay um, so yeah I think that's about it guys it's not that hectic so I am just gonna run through it one more time with you so that you can actually get the feel and the difference between all three so for all three okay fine let's just first discuss medical aids again so with your medical aids you pay monthly premium and they pay for almost all your medical needs according to the plan that you took um medical insurance will pay for your day-to-day -day medical expenses according to your the plan that you took as well and you will also pay a monthly premium for that but as i said it's cheaper than your medical aid and then you have your hospital plan which will pay for your hospital visit expenses hospital hospitalization expenses and your hospitalization medication that you need and then they will also pay for your chronic medication <laughs> okay as i said and then they will also pay for your chronic medication and you still have a premium for that as well it's just the hospital plan is actually the cheapest from all three i think because you're basically paying for when you are hospitalized and if you are taking any chronic medication okay so the main main difference is that your medical aid is like so if we had like a pyramid basically your hospital plan would be right at the bottom because it's the cheapest and covers the least 
and then you have your medical insurance which tries to cover things um basically more things compared to your hospital plan but it still doesn't cover um, as many things as your that your medical aid would cover for instance okay um so guys i've discussed all three if you are looking into getting like medical cover you have to first sit down with yourself check your health and basically see which plan would work better for you are you a medical aid individual are you a medical insurance individual or on your hospital plan individual depending on your medical aid so for instance if you don't have any chronic conditions you're not taking any chronic medication um, and you don't really get sick that much then taking a hospital plan would work out cheaper for you because you're only paying for fees that you would actually use for certain things do you get what i'm saying um and then the main difference again is that with your medical insurance and your hospital plan if you need to visit a GP and stuff, you may need to pay cash for all those things. And if you're getting medication just over the counter, you may need to pay cash for those as well. But um, as I said, guys, I've discussed all three. Um, you have to sit down with yourself and see which one is actually more suitable for you and your lifestyle, as well as for your family as well. Um, I think that's about that's about it that's about it if you guys have any questions you can leave them on the comment section down below if you have any comments um you can also leave them on the comment section down below don't forget to click the like button and don't forget to subscribe guys and to share with your family and friends before i leave you i just remember something very very important um because we're still on the first year of work series some companies um do pay you a certain do pay a certain amount um to contribute towards your medical aid so make sure you look into that and as i said on your contract it has to be there they need to specify um what percentage they're going to be paying for your health insurance okay your medical aid or your hospital plan okay um so yeah that's about it for today i love you a lot guys i love you i love you i love you um don't forget to like and share um, and yeah, we'll see you on the next video. I'll see you guys on Thursday for all my students, all my university people. I'll see you guys on Thursday. And then on Sunday, we will continue with our first year of work series. It's been going on so great for now. I'm loving your feedback, guys, and your response so far with the series that I'm doing. Um, I hope to keep you guys informed as always. That's the main aim of the channel, to be that mentor that you guys never had. I hope this channel actually helps you guys grow and be better versions of yourselves um yeah and that's it from me to you today bye guys love you lot